we do not have, because we do not ask. Hello, and welcome to the Mana to Live By. One day at a time. Five minute devotionals. Today is November 13th. The scripture portion for our meditation today is from James, chapter 4 and verse 2. Yet you do not have because you do not ask. A verse like this raises an interesting question. If we have not, because we ask not, what great things are we missing in life? Simply because we do not pray for them? A similar question arises from James 5.16, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. If this righteous man doesn't pray, then does it not follow, that little is accomplished through him? The trouble with most of us is that we do not pray enough, or when we do pray, we ask for so little. We are what C.T. Studd, called, nibblers of the possible, instead of grabbers of the impossible. Our prayers are timid and unimaginative, when they should be bold and daring. We should be honoring God by praying for great things. In John Newton's words, You are coming to a king, large petitions with you bring, for his grace and power are such, none can ever ask too much. When we do this, we not only honor God, we enrich ourselves spiritually. He loves to open heaven's treasures to us, but today's verse suggests that he only does it in answer to prayer. It seems to me that this verse answers a question that we often hear. The question is this, does prayer actually move God to do things that he would not have done otherwise, or does it merely bring us into harmony with what he would have done anyway? The answer seems clear, God does things in answer to prayer that he would not have done otherwise. Our imaginations can run riot in two directions, as we ponder this. First, we can think of the tremendous achievements that have come, as a direct result of prayer. Borrowing the words of Hebrews, 11.33 and 34, we remember those who, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. But, we can also think of what we ourselves might have accomplished for Christ, if we had only asked. We can think of the many exceedingly great, and precious promises in the word, which we have failed to claim. We have been weak, when we might have been powerful. We have touched a few lives for God, when we might have touched thousands, or even millions. We have asked for acres, when we might have asked for continents. We have been spiritual paupers, when we might have been plutocrats. We do not have, because we do not ask. We do not have, because we do not ask. Today's manna, originally written by William MacDonald, Adapted and developed, as Mana to Live By, 5-Minute Devotionals for YouTube, by John Benjamin.